Hello everyone in this lecture let's study about the ecological succession ecological succession is more of a process uh, where there is a change in the vegetation over a geological time scale so in order to understand this let's look at this example here when you look the first stage is where we get to see all bare rocks over an area and gradually lichens develop over this and then we get to see small small plants and then grasses and then we get to see small plants and then we get to see trees and then we get to see the entire forest community to be established over an area so this uh, transition from one phase to another phase will be called an ecological succession and it's important to note that ecological succession is not something that happens in a particular place it happens everywhere so succession basically occurs where one community replaces the other community as we have seen here uh this replacement uh, is mainly due to the large scale destruction which can be due to the natural factors or which can be due to the man made factors natural factors of destruction includes drought floods etc and man made factors of destruction includes uh urbanization deforestation industrialization etc so uh, the whole process of one species replacing the other set of species will continue until we get climax species hence climax species can be defined as the last stage of ecological succession hence these are considered to be very stable and uh, they are considered to be mature so now having understood the definition of ecological succession let's move to the next topic um where we get to see the stages involved in the ecological succession so it starts off with the first stage where the pioneer species get established and gradually these pioneer species do get replaced with other set of community and that set of community gets replaced with other set of community and this entire process continues until we get climax community so how do we define prime pioneer community it is defined as a first set of uh, plants that colonize an area or it can be defined as the first set of organisms that uh, try and invade a new area and the final stage of uh, ecological succession sets up climax species and uh, these species are considered to be stable and mature enough and the transition phase will be uh, considered as series or it is also known as successional stage it is important because it leads to the establishment of climax species so this is it with uh, the concept of uh, stages of ecological succession now let's understand what are the advantages of ecological succession what are the advantages of uh, you know change in the vegetation over an area or uh, change in the set of organisms that uh, reside over an area what what are the advantages of these ecological succession uh, we know that uh, when one set of organisms do get uh, replaced by other set of organisms we get to see lot of different different organisms coming and developing over an area as a result the biodiversity here will increase and when the biodiversity increases the productivity will increase and we also know that when biodiversity increases the complexity of food web will increase because now there will be more uh, um, organisms representing different tropical levels and uh, if the complexity of the food web increases there will be higher transfer of nutrients from one tropic uh, level to other tropic level and uh, it's also important to note that if the biodiversity increases there will be increase in the niche development do not worry about uh, the concept of niche let's cover this in future classes but um, just for now to be able to understand uh, the concept of niche i'll just tell you that niche is basically uh, it represents how uh, one organism maintains relation with another organism to be able to uh, survive and to be able to reproduce uh, this is extremely important uh, in order to see to it that the organisms don't compete with each other and undergo extinction for example if we have a plant or a tree then we get to see uh, some organisms which depend on this part of the plant and some organisms depend on this part of the plant and some organisms depend on this part of the plant so uh, this is considered to be niche development 
because this helps to ensure that uh, the organisms don't compete with each other and undergo extinction. So uh, that is it with the introductory uh, part of ecological succession. Let's cover the concept of types of ecological succession in the next uh, lecture. I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, for more updates, you can also subscribe to this channel. Uh, consider subscribing to this channel because this helps a uh, lot of people uh, to be able to access this channel. So yeah, I hope you have liked this. Thank you.